Okay guys, um, well today is going to be the second part of our study on continuous lines. The first video we learned about how to make uh, continuous line drawings of figures, animals, faces, um, by looking at the paper and also by not looking at the paper. And remember, continuous line drawings are drawings with just one line where you don't pick up your pencil at all. Um, so today we're going to be building off of that and taking some of our drawings and turning them into wire sculptures like Alexander Calder. So let's get started. Okay, so here are some of the supplies that I'm going to use today. I have a piece of wire. You can use any type of wire that you have at home. It doesn't have to be copper wire, it could be any type of wire. The key is to remember um, to be careful when you're using it. Uh, it can be sharp, so you need to make sure your eyes are out of the way. You can wear safety goggles um, if you want to protect your eyes. and. Um, yeah, just that you are using caution when you're working with wire. So I have this copper wire and I, I, I tore apart um, just a scrap piece of electrical wire at home and there was this copper wire in it and this other piece of wire that's coated in white. So I'm gonna use both of them today. I don't need wire cutters, um, that just adds danger. So we're just gonna break the wire with our fingers if we don't need it all. I also have a little piece of modeling clay. That's what I'm going to use as a base so I can stick my sculpture into it. You can use Play-Doh or clay. You can make your own clay um, or anything you have. You can use a little piece of wood to stick it into, anything you, that you have uh, that you could just use as a base to hold it up. Um, but I'm using a piece of clay today. And I have my drawings that we did in the previous video that Maria and I did. Um, this, these were the bear, and then I have the drawing of her, and I think I'm going to try to make all three today. So I'm going to start with my copper wire, and remember that um, this is continuous lines, so we only need one piece, and this is really, really long, so I'm just going to break it so that it's not quite so long, and to break it, again, you don't need wire cutters, you're just going to kind of bend it back and forth like this until it breaks. So just be really careful. Remember it's going to be sharp. Keep bending it back and forth several times and it'll eventually get really, really soft and it should just break. Yep, there we go. Okay. I think I'm going to start with this one here, um, with this little bear. Now, I can't really see where the beginning line is, so I'm just going to start at the head, I think, and I'm going to curl it around just a little bit, because the head has some like curly pieces up there, and then I'm going to bend it. I'm just using my fingers for this. All you need are your fingers and your wire. Your wire shouldn't be heavy enough that you can't bend it with your fingers. If it is too heavy that you can't bend it, then you need to get lighter wire. So now I'm just gonna make the ears and bring it around. I might make the arm here. And I think it's gonna be too hard to do the fingers. So I think I'm just gonna bring it around just like this. Maybe like that. I think I might hook this piece through just to give it a little more stability. And that's pretty close. Kind of looks like a bear. And then I'm going to hook it into my clay. So it should stand up just like this. And now I have my clay bear sculpture, continuous line sculpture. Okay, let's try another one. All right, this time I'm gonna use the white wire. I already broke a little piece off. Um, and I'm gonna do Maria's little bear here. So 
she kind of looks like she started up here with the ear, so that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna bend it, one ear, I'm gonna go up and make another ear, around, here's the hand, the arm and the hand. I'm gonna come down, and make the, the legs. had this little piece kind of making a turn in and making a kind of a triangle I don't know if I have enough wire to do that um, but something kind of like that looks similar to what she did maybe if I bring this up a little bit I have enough for a triangle so you're, again, you're just taking one piece of wire and you're just bending it and folding it um, to try to make it look like the drawing that you made. Doesn't have to be exact. These don't, mine don't look exact clearly, but it's pretty close, close enough. So then I'm gonna take my little black piece of clay and stick the bottom right into that clay and it's gonna stand up for me. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit harder because um, it's going to be the face. This is the one that I drew of her. I don't like how I did the hair pulled back, so I'm gonna try to make her hair straight down this time. But um, I'm using a little bit of a longer piece of wire and back to the copper wire. And I think I'm gonna start um, at the eyes. I believe that's where I started when I did the drawing. So I'm gonna bend it around. I'm gonna make one eye here. And then bend it up. And I'm gonna make another eye. And then down to that eyebrow, okay. Now I think I'm gonna come up like I did in the drawing, do the forehead, and then back down around. I'm gonna push this out of the way, just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm coming down now, I'm going to do the Let's see, how did I do it? I think this is gonna come up and around. I'm gonna make a nose. I'm just gonna speed up my video um, a little bit. I'm just gonna keep folding and making the features and you guys can keep watching and following along. Well, I didn't have quite enough wire to do a, a good job on her hair, and it felt like her face was a little big, so I kind of changed it and uh, tried to make it a little smaller. It looks a little Picasso-esque, uh, a little abstract, um, not exactly like what I had envisioned, but it still looks like a face, and um, I'm still happy with it. So then I'm just gonna take it and stick it into my clay, make it so that it stands up, And there you go. So I have my face 
And I have my two different bears that we made today out of wire. I'd love to see what you guys came up with. Um, so take a picture and post them, uh, upload them to the assignment page on Teams. Um, thanks for joining us today, guys. Let me know if you have any questions and how I can help you. All right, have a great day. Bye.